two, six, heave! These passengers have their hands full as they get to be sailors for the afternoon. They're on board a 132-foot wooden ship, assisting the crew to set sail in the San Francisco Bay. I think today it was a really good sail. We got a lot of wind, especially later as we got closer to San Francisco and by Alcatraz, which is where it picks up and gets a lot of fun. The $6 million ship took seven years to build, has an 11-sail brigantine design, and comes with a deep history. It was named after an iconic and prolific shipbuilder from San Francisco. Now, the Matthew Turner is specially designed after another historical ship called the Galilee, which was built in the late 1800s. And it also held the fastest sail record from San Francisco to Tahiti. Now, parts of her are in San Francisco, parts of her are in Benicia, which is Matthew Turner's original shipyard location. Part of her is sunk in Sausalito, like literally a quarter mile from us. The hybrid ship stands about 100 feet tall and produces her own energy harnessed from the wind. She regenerates her two electric motors when sailing. She's one of two ships from Call of the Sea, a nonprofit in Sausalito that local sailors founded in 1985. Alan Olson, the co founder, said he partnered with the San Francisco Police Department in the past to take students from youth reform schools out to sea. It was a very, very powerful thing, and we could see how it was really changing these kids and how much they liked doing it. All right, turns course, turns lower. They're dedicated to sharing traditional maritime sailing and its deep history to today's youth with their floating classroom, a chance to sail on traditionally rigged vessels. I think it's really fun. I mean, it's kind of cold, but I think it's like there's really pretty views and stuff. And I've like been on like the coast around here, and it's a really different perspective. Come sailing, it's delightful, and it can. I think it's a really important way to experience our environment and to understand that we used to live on top of the water more than just next to it. I prefer being on water than on land, if that makes sense. Uh, so living on a boat, working on a boat, and just constantly sailing almost every single day, it's, it's where I need to be. <laughs> also, I think that young people don't realize how many options they have. They grow up in a bubble, and they don't really see outside of that bubble. But you put them on a ship, and go someplace or spend some time on it and all of a sudden they see other ideas. Olson says it's a magical feeling that comes to him and those when they're out at sea as a calling. You get out there like at night or something, you go out there night watch and you're looking at the stars and you're looking out and all of a sudden you realize that you're basically sailing, sailing the universe because that's what you see out there. And it's, you see the sea and it just broadens your view of where you are and, 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 and it, you are part of all of this too. You... Call of the Seas crew is sailing strong to keep traditional sailing in the Bay Area and beyond. David Lamb, NTD News, California.